What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and today we are diving into Grindstone, available now on Apple Arcade, Nintendo Switch, and on the Epic Games Store, which is where it launched just a few days ago. So this is a fresh PC release, and as a matter of fact, right now there is a big mega sale going on for the summer, so you can actually get the game for $5. That's a steal, because this is not only one of the best puzzle games that I have played in recent memory, but on top of that, it's one of the best mobile games that I have ever played. Cappy Games knocked it out of the park. Now, before we dive into it, I do want to say thank you to the team at Pop Agenda and at Cappy Games for providing me a code. Very excited to dive into the latest version today. But for those that are brand new to Grindstone, let's check out the official description. Grindstone is a game of sword slashing puzzle games from the award winning creators of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, Critter Crunch, and more. Grindstone Mountain is overrun with vicious creeps, slay your way up its treacherous peak where fortune, glory, and death awaits. It'll take sharp puzzle skills and an even sharper blade to cleave your way through the swarms of bloodthirsty creeps dwelling within Grindstone's dungeons, battle bosses, loot resources, discover long lost blueprints for powerful gear, and prove your prowess on the daily modes leaderboards, all while cleaving the innards from your deadly foes over 200 levels of intense puzzle battling madness. Let's go ahead and dive in. So you have a couple of announcements here on the home screen just for the seasonal uh, events, but here's where the game really begins. Grindstone Mountain, a stinking hellhole full of nasty creeps and shiny grindstones. The guy down there freezing his juicy muscles off is George, he's a stone grinder. George has one job, slaying mushy creeps and grabbing as many grindstones as he can. It's a long way to the top of this wretched mountain, let's go. So let's go ahead and dive into the first level. Grindstone Mountain is crawling with colorful creeps and it's a stone grinder's job to wipe them out. Starting from George, select a path through all seven of the blue creeps around him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now click go and launch George into battle. This is where the magic truly begins to happen. The enemies fall down, the path continues. Normally, George can only path through creeps of the same color. Let's see what happens when George kills his way through 10 or more creeps in one go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we are ready to rock. A grindstone has appeared. Behold, a grindstone. Making a long enough path will spit out a grindstone. Pathing through a grindstone will let George swap creep colors. Go ahead and try it out. So effectively, now you switch between different types of enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm liking where this is going. Rainbow Path, the next creep can be any color you want. I'm choosing purple. We got 19. Let's get ready to rock. You can't look me in the eye and say that's not satisfying. It is. It is what makes this game so, so good. Swap path colors to build even longer chains. Build longer chains to get more grindstones. Trade your hard-earned grindstones for powerful new gear. But only if you make it out alive. And so the game continues, but there is even more here that you'll get clued into in a moment. Once you've completed the level objective, the exit door will unlock. In this level, you'll need to slay 55 creeps, get to it. We're at 49 out of 55. Let's go ahead and knock out those last few, which should be pretty easy to handle considering we are elite gamers and it's never going to be a problem to handle a few small little enemies. We're slashing and hacking our way through the entire rest of the level. No problem willy nilly, let's get to it. The exit door is now open. You can leave whenever you want by selecting a path to the door, but the longer you hang around, the more dangerous enemies will become. Remember to exit before you're KO'd or you'll lose everything you have picked up. So here is where the player has to make a choice. Do you want to continue grinding? Do you want to continue slaying enemies? Because the stakes will be higher and you very well could die and you could lose everything, but you will earn a lot more loot that then goes back into your equipment upgrades and the way that you play. So for the sake of conversation, let's go ahead and keep going. Whoa, this creep is all fired up and ready to fight back. This is where the stakes are raised and you actually 
get a bit of a turn-based element in here, in my opinion. You get a little bit of a timed issue to where if you don't slay this enemy and you're next to it, it will explode. And once you have an entire screen full of these things, it's difficult to even move without really risking blowing up, which is where what you see on the right side of the screen comes in, a couple of power-ups that we'll get later on when we play. If you end George's path on any of those red danger squares, he will get attacked, kill the angry creeps, or try to avoid them. You click the enemy to show any angry enemy's attack range. And of course, as we see, he's got the classic D-pad kind of setup here, where if I'm within one uh, hit point, if I'm in one square uh, within proximity of this guy, he is going to take me out. So we're going to go ahead and knock him out and get him taken care of. Easy peasy, we're good to go, but now we've got two of the angry creeps that are coming after us. we got to make sure that we get those taken care of as soon as possible. And I'll show you what happens if you do get near one. The attack is there. And so my health bar has gone down over here in the bottom left-hand corner. You see I'm looking a little ragged, a little torn. I need to make sure that I do not get hit three times because if I get hit three times, I lose all of my grindstones and I am back to round one. Again, I can leave at any time. The door is completely and totally open. I can bust out as soon as I want. And so we'll probably go ahead and start making our way in that direction. Now, once again, if I click this guy, I will not be hit if I land here, so it's not going to be a problem if I just hack and slash my way through these guys. So for the first few levels, you'll begin to see more and more of these tutorial kind of situations pop up where you're learning the more basic elements of the game, but it's still stuff that's important. Matching color is as great and all, but smashing through some things requires a bit more oomph. The small number on the lower right corner of this wooden crate is its toughness, and the number of floating over the path cursor is your attack power. Build up your attack power by chaining through at least three creeps before the gate. And so you see here, if I go three, four, I can smash through this gate by sacrificing three of my hit points effectively is what these are as I build up these enemies and the attacks that I'm inflicting on them. So now I have to continue this kind of track. And I can collect wood in the middle there, which is a resource that you use later in the game. As you saw, I got hit. Let's go ahead and pick up this because I'm running low on hearts over here. I need to get my stuff and get out as soon as possible. I gotta get that stone. I can't leave it. This is where the element of necessity comes in. Do I need that grindstone? No, absolutely not. Do I want it? Yes. But if I go for it, then I'll be next to that guy. So I really can't sacrifice going for it. So I need to get back to where I was. None of these guys are going to kill me, but they will. They will eventually. One of these guys will get angry. I feel it. Yep, he's getting angry. So now I can go... I can take out a couple of enemies here, and I can get that. And then we're out and then we're good to go now the key is that rock that's in front of the door that will restrict my area of movement so i've got to plan very quickly and i have to plan on my toes to make sure that i'm not messing anything up as you can see this game works very well on the epic game store but it is phenomenal on the go. It is the perfect game for any kind of iOS player or those that subscribe to Apple Arcade. And of course, on the Nintendo Switch, it's the same kind of touchscreen element. Absolutely worth your time checking this one out for sure. Moving on to level three, let's see what new lesson we're learning. A treasure chest has appeared, but it's not going to be easy to get its goodies. You'll need to find the key first. It looks like this creep got a hold of it. Just squash them and the treasure will be George's for the taking. I'm looking a little rough. I'm looking a little ragged here. Now, thankfully, there is a messenger shop, a, a store for us to restore our health that we'll get back to later on the home screen. But for now, we've got to keep hacking and slashing because your boy needs this key right here. And right now, it looks like I'm just going to have to go for it. I don't really see another option to go ahead and snag that. So now, if you see the five hovering over the treasure chest, I have to run through five enemies before I even hit the chest, which as it stands right now, I don't really see a good direct route to do so. So we'll work on this, because right now I've got eight in that direction. And right now it's all about moving the screen down as much as I possibly can. That's the most important element, but some of these guys are going to start popping and getting a little rowdy. So I need to start moving very quickly, otherwise I'm going to find myself in a pretty bad spot. You can see in the bottom left hand corner, already not looking too good if we're being totally honest here. I really don't have a good route to go. 
Oh, I'm going to die. I didn't even look. I didn't even look. That is deep emotional pain. That is traumatizing. But I'm still alive, and so we might as well grab a mug and warm our bones. The Howling Wolf, before you try crawling back up Grindstone Mountain again, let's go ahead and snag some. We've got a couple of grindstones here. I will take two different hearts. We'll get that health potion, get our health back up. Sleep, wake, then get back to the grindstone. Ha ha. Have a sip before you get back to slaying those creeps. Let's go ahead and get out of it. This is where all the weirdos hang out, uh, but hey, at least they are friendly weirdos. Running low on hearts, you want to head on up to the pub on the top floor. That's what we already did. Down here, you've got the armory, and so this is where you'll be able to buy new equipment, buy some power-ups, stuff that can help you on your journey. But for now, let's go ahead and just get back to the grindstone because we have plenty to do, plenty to accomplish, and let's go ahead and see how high up on the grindstone we can get. So now the treasure chest is unlocked, we're good to go. Now we just have to make our way back up to the top, which I could actually do in a pretty solid way right now. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and take that. Because then if I come up here and I pull this maneuver, I can get a lot of materials. Uh, do I keep going? Do I keep going? Do I keep going? Sure, why not? I'll open up the treasure chest. I'm not leaving yet, though. I'm not leaving. I want the chest. I want the chest to see what it does. Now we'll get a little bit of a tutorial here. We're good to go there. More enemies have popped up, and we continue. As you can see, it becomes quite the issue whenever everyone is angry at you. Now I have to figure out a way out of this. The only way out is really through this main corridor here. And in order to do that, I legitimately don't know if I... I don't know if I can. I don't know if there's anywhere that I can go right now that won't kill me. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm out. <laughs> we have survived. We have made it through level three. I know. Intense gamer skills. Intense gamer skills for you all. I bring only the best. No need to thank me. I know. Got to beat it up a little bit. Do a couple of clicks. We get a blueprint. Which means we'll be able to build some kind of interesting piece of armor here in a moment. Let's go back to the end with this and see what it can do. The shopkeeper can decipher that dusty old blueprint for you. His shop's on the bottom floor. Give him a tap. We'll head back to where we were earlier. Hey, the name's Knifier? Knifer? Knifer. I'm an idiot. Welcome to my shop. The only supplier of functioning creeper crunching gear for a thousand miles. It looks like you found yourself a blueprint. Let's take a look. You select the blueprint and then press reveal. Let's go ahead and check it out. A wooden shield. Using it will let George block all attacks until the end of a turn. But don't go running off yet. You've got to build one first. To do that, you'll need materials from deep inside Grindstone Mountain. This is where the wood comes into play. It looks like you've already got enough for this shield. Press craft and get building. Go ahead and push craft. We now have one shield. I put it over here. Level four. Now you got to put that shield to good use. Click the shield to activate it. So right here, I can click that. I guess I suppose I do it now. It blocks attacks for one turn. With the shield active, George will block all attacks at the end of the turn. Each piece of gear can only be used for a limited number of times in a level, and gear is used when you end your turn. If you change your mind, you can reselect the same piece of gear to cancel. There are many unique and powerful gears to craft and try. Keep an eye out for more blueprints. Let's go ahead and get to it. To I don't I don't need this right now, so I'm going to disequip that. 
or unequip that, I guess, is the best way to put that uh, back here. Okay, all right, feeling good about where I landed. Because the more of the wood that I get, the more wooden shields I can create over time. I guess I should come down in this direction, but even then, like, I can't... All right, this is when we equip our shield. So then the shield comes up, boom, we're good to go, we're not dying. Mmm. Ah! Oh. My heart, my soul. Now, going back to the home screen, we have now unlocked the daily grind, which is effectively a good reason for you to come back to the game, maybe bake it into your daily morning routine. It's not enough to be strong and smart. The old gods also want to see how you fare against their whimsy. It's a good leaderboard. Today's is the fortune grind. You dive in, give it your best, see what you can do. Again, a really good way to just keep yourself coming back to the game. That gives you a brief overview of what to expect from the first couple of minutes of Grindstone, but the fun just continues, and I don't want to spoil too much for you, I just wanted to give you a taste of what to expect. But this game is easy to love because it is a labor of love that shows how far Cappy Games has come over the course of the past few years with their previous projects. It is a game that is absolutely worth picking up no matter where you are playing. You've got over 250 levels, multiple daily modes with competitive leaderboards that keep you coming back, and continual updates that add more and more to the game. And with it just launching on the Epic Games Store, you know there is plenty of new content to come. That wraps up today's video on Grindstone, but just after playing the first couple of levels here on PC and having played through the first world on my mobile device, it is such a good game to keep coming back to, and it's one that will be my after work cup of coffee game. This is going to be my daily unwind game where I come home, I see what the daily grind is, and I continue working my way up in the mountain because it is so easy to pick up and enjoy. And it's just such a fun, basic game to play that has such a high level of complexity but that's not too overbearing. Let me know what you think about Grindstone in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, I have an Xbox podcast that I host on Sundays and I'm putting out videos throughout the week. I would love to hear what you think about the content. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and keep coming back for more. Again, I do want to thank the team at Cappy Games and the team at Pop Agenda for hooking me up with the code. And I'll see you guys on the next video.